into round two of the original trilogy tournament at 401 Games. Next up, we have Greg Burns, Flying Imperials, versus Ryan Dornick, Flying Rebels. And uh, just to reiterate, everyone, uh, so this is an original trilogy tournament. Every match is going to be between an Imperial list versus a Rebel list. Every player has brought an Imperial and a Rebel list to the tournament. Uh, and at the start of each round, they roll off to see who plays which list. Um, so we've got, yes, Greg here with Imperials, uh, Ryan here with, um, with uh, Rebels. Flying the mythical unicorn Imperial Fire Spray. Imperial Fire Spray. It is here. It is something. What does Cat Scarlet Imperial version do? No uh, one knows. <laughs> no one knows. Let's, <laughs> let's look that up. Um, I think that's the one. No, Boba is the one that can turn more easily, uh, if I recall. Fire spray, fire spray. There it is. Cath Scarlet. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's such an odd ability. Yeah, no one knows this. Okay. So, when attacking, the defender receives one stress token if he cancels at least one crit result. That is so... I guess the Mangler Cannon's going to be flipping a crit, and it's the chance to stress. He can double stress with Tactician. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a chance to double stress someone, basically. You're popping out your uh, Tactician, and if they cancel the crit, then they also receive another stress. That being said, like, that's such a weird... Um, uh, weird choice, I guess. And to be clear, everyone, that unknown... I think that's a bomb He's a bomb generator. Yeah, He's got the Andrasta title. Uh, Victor, we've got an unknown here on Cat Scarlet for some reason. Um, that's the bomb with generator. Yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you. So we're just gonna get that fixed. Um, but, 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 so, so he's gonna be handing out a ton of bombs and a ton of stress, hopefully. Uh, and then we've got a classic soon tier fell. Yeah, very standard. Very standard. Stealth very hard device, to kill. PTL. Just a point sink yep. to rip down. Yep, he's going to be hard to kill. Uh, and Wampa, because why not? Uh, I guess just filling out that list. Uh, Versus Rebel Jank. Rebel Jank. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, okay, I really, I really I enjoy like this it. list. This is, this is the sort of fun, silly thing I would fly. Um, uh, we've got Hobby Clivian with targeting Astromech and integrated Astromech. And if I'm correct, Hobby is the one who... When he gets or spends a target lock, he clears stress. He clears stress, which means he can uh, he can K turn all day long because he has targeting astromech. Uh, and next up, we have Tarn M nine G eight. So that's the reroll. Yep, reroll bot M nine G eight, solid bot on any X wing, um, anyone who can take it really. And and actually with Tarn, this is a great combo. So Tarn, whenever someone attacks Tarn. Uh, you get to get a grab a target lock on them. So when they declare oh, your attack, fun. so you're getting rerolls. You you can force them to have negative rerolls on you all the time. Neat. Uh, so they target you. You target lock them. They roll their dice. You force them to reroll one with M9G8. Uh, so that Tarn is pretty tanky. Uh, then we've got two Gold Squadron pilots, one with Ion Cannon Turret R2 BTLA4. Uh, so just you know an Ion. Uh, handing out ions with a uh, with a Y wing, and then a Gold Squadron pilot with dorsal turret, so R3A2, different. and BTL. We thought it was going to be synced, so it looks like yeah. this is a dorsal turret. Okay, that's still good. Uh, it's yes. slightly cheaper, I guess. I yep. guess that's what he could fit. Um, yeah, it looks like he's full up on points, uh, and with dorsal, you don't need to get the target lock, so that's probably better. Anyways, um, uh, that's the trouble with sync turret. Uh, that synced, target lock is... You need to have the target lock to fire it, and which means it's not very good on low pilot skill ships. Right. One of the only things so far that I've seen Sync Turret be useful on, um, Aaron, one of our members in the Prototype Toronto League, was running a Sync Turret on his NIM with an FCS. Yep. Okay. So it just gave you that target lock right away, yep. and then it would start kicking off. TLT is probably still better, and like that was his general thought at the end of it, but it was a way to start getting that to work. 
Yeah, and it's a little cheaper. Although with NIM, I, I'd much rather advanced sensors and. Oh yeah, advanced sensor NIM is. Oh, it's so much fun. Yeah. <laughs> uh, That's one way to put it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, so Wampa's just buying time. So I have a feeling Stunter Fell here is just going to swing around, yep. come at uh, the X Wings from behind. Uh, meanwhile, Kath probably just going to slowly uh, move forward here and hope for the best. Yeah, this is kind of rough um, with the ion turret being against the big ship because Kath's going to be definitely the one coming in. Yeah. And you're not going to be able to ion that ship right away. And Don't. even when you do, it's got a rear arc. Yeah, it's got a rear arc and it's got that bomblet generator. Um, um, but he is going to make sure he keeps it away from uh, the edge of the board. Yeah, right, because, I mean, you can uh, ion token stick around, right? Yep. So you get one off, He'll and then ion. eventually, later, you get a second one off when you really need it, and uh, suddenly you can clobber that, uh, that large base ship. Yeah, it'll be curious to see if he sticks one on early, and then... Um, oh, I would, too. Give him the opportunity. Um you know, just kind of let your opponent forget about that ion token. Yeah. And get towards the end of the game, and you're like, and you're ion. And you go right into that rock yeah. or off whatever else. Or off the board. Yep. Uh, definitely the sort of um, sort of thing I would enjoy doing. Uh, I mean, I would be personally tempted to just run uh, four of those in a list. Uh, the, the ion. ion I, I would the too. The ion wings uh, I think I would probably keep them without the title. I'd want the arc and to just walk around with a bunch of ion. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the double shot is great, but if you're, like, for putting out some extra damage, but it's only a two-dice primary, so maybe you're doing one extra damage. Yep. Right? Um, and honestly, with ion, you're just trolling your opponent. Anyway. Well, it's just that's a the fun. It's a, it's a lot of fun to fly. Yeah, and, and, and that's the thing, though, right? If you can, if you can uh, get an ion token on someone... Well, then you're going to get to shoot them again next turn, yep. and they're not going to be able to shoot you next turn right. because you know exactly where they're going. Um, well, they're flying a four, like a two-ship list, and you're running four ion cannons. Oh yeah, that's you just, going to be a bad day. Like it doesn't matter if you don't do enough damage; you can just keep blinking away. Yeah, right? just walk them off the board. The yeah. moment you get a ion, just get behind them and one four. Yeah, I think ions are a lot stronger than they get credit for. I do too. Um, one of my favorite lists is two B-Wings with Ions and, and Shara Bay with Weapons Engineer and M9G8. Um, you know, it's, it's so much fun. I think it's going to be really interesting to see, um, outside of this tournament, what kind of control we're going to start seeing in just the upcoming parts of the game. Right. Um, you know, we're in an area where now bombs are big. Bombs um, are big. Stress is pretty necessary with the amount of mind link you can see running around. So control is going to be a thing mm -hmm. like it's a mm -hmm. nice counter to a lot of these powerful things mm -hmm. um and i think it's just going to become all the more so yeah for sure but back to this we see a pretty methodical walk down the board yep nothing, nothing very fancy going on here soon is just swinging wide i guess right. uh greg doesn't want uh soon taking too long to get to the fight, so he's bringing him through the middle as opposed to swinging him all the way around. Yep. Wampa is turning here, so what's he going to do with Wampa? I think, I mean, Wampa's just a blocker, right? I would think so. Wampa's yeah. not a fantastic ship in this, like, no. against this particular matchup. No. You know, you have a lot of big hull ships, so even Wampa's um, ability is not going to be too incredibly powerful. No, and Wampa's ability is if you land a crit, you can cancel your damage. You can cancel all your damage right away. Yeah. And deal it straight. Deal a face down straight to hull. If you just roll a crit, you don't yes. even need to land Correct. it. Yeah, yeah, Correct. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's why, like the palp Wampa combo. Yeah, the palp Wampa combo is great. It's fantastic. Um. I wish you could get. Uh, but I guess he just threw Wampa in here because why not? I agree. <laughs> I wish you could get Womp outside of the Gazanti. Yeah, it's it's a fantastic ship. Um, well, and that's the thing. Uh, Hobby and Tarn are also both in the Rebel Transport, yep. right? Um, which is... I would you know, say like eBay someone, is your friend. Yeah, eBay point. is your friend. I managed to pick them up off someone who was selling just the pilot cards from the Transport. Um, 
I mean, there are a lot of good cards that come in those epic ships, right? They are. Uh, which is really, really frustrating if you're low on funds or whatever else. And I'm, they are expensive. Yeah, they're expensive. I really want access to the the new sick pilots from oh, yep. from the Sea Rock, but I don't care about epic, so I don't want the Sea Rock. <laughs> I have a Sea Rock sitting unopened in my office upstairs and I just pulled the pilots out. The Sea Rock will never <laughs> see the field of play. Same as the Gazanti. Oh, well maybe I can get some of the art casters from you. And, uh, I do have a ton of them. Yeah. <laughs> well, because it came with five and five yeah. uh, of the, the... The light. The light sick yep. things. Yeah. I'm not to mention Sunny. Sunny's great. Is fantastically yeah. fun. Oh, okay. So we've got uh, Suntirfell in his position. Uh, let's see. Starting it off doing soon tier fell things. Looks like we've got hit hit crit. Uh, so Imperial Cath, uh, as we mentioned earlier, uh, whenever Imperial Cath shoots you and you are forced to cancel a, or, and you use an evade or whatever to cancel a crit, you have to take a stress. It's not that great. It's it's kind of representative of some of the older older design where a lot of the abilities only triggered every once in a while. Um, so it's not something that you're going to hit with every turn, but uh, it, I guess it punishes you for, for taking those crits. Um, which means Mangler Cannon's a great combo. Exactly. Uh, if you, you either take a crit or you eat a stress. One, one or the other, right? This is a fantastic setup right now by, uh, by Greg. Yeah. He's got a very nice kill box in uh, the making. So Hobby's already taken uh, two damage from Suntir Fell. Uh, so soon tier doing soon tier things um, I would uh, like as Ryan I would be terrified of soon tier fell this right? is not going to be good <laughs> no I mean soon tier with thrusters and a stealth device if he can just keep him nice and um, just wish to see yeah yeah for sure yeah hobby is it's a neat it's a neat ship T65s in general don't obviously see a ton of play outside of the mustache superhero. Yeah. <laughs> but um, it, but um, they always are neat to see. Uh, Hobby being able to, you know, flip around, get that astromech, um, and end up with no stress is so, so good. Um, that being said, uh, if you want a, a more updated version, uh, there's something to be said for a... Uh, stay on target Nyen Nub with targeting Astromech. Uh, everything's red and you can uh, you know, get those free target locks all the time. Uh, and I would say Mike is our resident oh. T70 expert <laughs> in Toronto. You love your T70s and they're good. Uh, I mean, it's it, they're fun to fly, they're fragile. Um, I mean, there's a reason everyone still... Uh, they're fun. There's a lot of fun abilities, especially with the Heroes of the Resistance pilots, but they are just uh, not up to snuff when it comes to things like Jump Masters and... And, uh, uh, and Jump Masters. Yeah, and Jump Masters. <laughs> <laughs> and Bigs lists and, like, Canon Bigs and things like that. Um, right. Uh, they, they, have some, they have some huge weaknesses. Uh, but there's a lot of ways to build them out, so, you know... Uh, fun to fly. Anyways, so wh what do we think we're doing here? Uh, number four is the dorsal turret, or the A2. Probably one bank. Just going to slowly bank him then. Yeah, bank. He could turn two. He could two hard. Yeah, I would hard two with uh, number three here. So what is that? Can't see. Oh, yep, yeah, hard two. So he's just hoping to catch that um, fire spray here. You know, and I think this uh, Ryan's list does speak to kind of the fun of this tournament, too. Mm -hmm. I mean, you see something like, so flying in plenty of tournaments and playing some Rebels, I see Tarn is 26 points. Yeah. Immediately, I'm like, guess who's R4-D6 and also 26 points? Right. Biggs. <laughs> <laughs> and Biggs would be good in this list yeah to be like why not bigs um and th that's the problem with the x-wing design yeah. in general is why not bigs is such a standard uh, thing to is say such a standard question right um he like 
is, is never a bad choice in a list, uh, which I no. think is, is the real problem with that design. Um, and why I, I, I'm still thinking there's going to be a nerf on him soon. I would not be surprised, especially with the release of the Azatuck and all its savior friendly ship abilities. Because now you can make a list where Biggs does not die, right? Yeah. You have Draw oh. Your Fire, Selflessness, uh, Low Rick, uh, Rex, right? Yep, all I've been of those it. can be in the same list. It's good. And all of those can keep Biggs alive, which in turn means the rest of your ship's uh, list stays alive. Yeah, it's good. All right, so we've got a self bump for Hobby here. Oof. I don't know what he was thinking here, but that looks Ooh. like bad news. Soon tier is going to. Unless Suntir did something not Actually, expecting that. Like, um, what if Suntir did a 5 forward? Or I, I mean, probably didn't. Well, Suntir, I'm actually wondering how he is going to play Suntir on this. So he probably did, what, a 2 bank? He may actually bump on that. A uh, 2 bank? Or he just did a 2 forward and is planning on barrel yeah. rolling. Yeah. Um, okay, so Kath is there. Right in the thick. Right in the thick. He's going to get shot by both of those Y wings. Yep, range 1. He's going to eat it. Like, yeah. he's going to eat some damage. Yeah, for sure. Well, and he's going to take that um, uh, ion and that stress, yep. it looks like. And the big thing is, though, is that obviously. Well, it looks like he just took it too here. hard. Mm -hmm. uh, I hope well, I didn't hit that rock. he didn't hit the rock, and he's going to have a great shot on that dorsal turret Y Wing. Yeah, focus target lock, and that dorsal turret Y Wing is going to. You do ton of damage. That might even be obstructed, though. That's that seems really close. Closest point to clear. Yeah, I think. So. Yeah, maybe. Maybe that's that's that little be. nub of that rock might obstruct that shot. All right. So why did Suntir evade here? Suntir's not get. Oh, Suntir could get shot by who's number two here? Tarn, I guess. I think right now, if you're Ryan, you unload into Calf. Yeah. You've got a ton of shots. I also noticed that M9G8 has, uh, or sorry, uh, Y Wing number three, the Ion Cannon, has the target lock from M9G8. Yep. Uh, so he gets that free reroll. Uh, so we've got three hits going on to from Sunter Fell, I assume on Y Wing number four. Out links. So Two three hits. hits. Who's that? Who did he shoot? Yeah. No, that must have been obstructed. Oh, yep, yep. On. Which one did he shoot, though? The. I think four. The uh, the stress bot. Yeah. There we go. Another four hits on that same. Ooh. Ship. It's one of it. Do you? I hold it. That's not hold, gonna. Yeah. No. 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 You're gonna die anyways. Yeah. I would leave that evade here. Having one health uh, is no good. Save the evade, accept that you're going to die next turn, and just use, or sorry, the focus. Get out the damage you can. Use the focus to get out the damage this turn, because you're going to die next turn anyways. That would be my choice. But it looks like that gold squadron pilot is down to... Uh, Two, I think, and... Oh, so what did he end up doing? Can't see. I can't see the ship for our dice tray here, so <laughs> um, hard to say. We'll probably need a health update on that Y just, just to make sure. So who's shooting here? Three evades. That would have been. Yeah, that would have been shot on Kath Should from hobby. hobby. Yeah. Hobby shooting Kath. That makes sense. Tarn is probably going to shoot Kath as well. I wouldn't bother shooting soon here with... There we uh, go. Three hits. Three hits. One evade, so Kath takes another two. No, spends the evade, takes one. And now you just lay in with those Y-Wings. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But this is why that you should have kept that focus. Don't bother shooting. No, trap. Well, I mean, you could maybe double stress soon tier. I, I double stressing soon tier is fantastic. Only if you can follow it up with shots the next round, though. Yeah. Wow, some nice dice. So that was Kath again, evading a whole bunch, uh, taking a stress. So Kath is now stressed. And this is the dorsal turret. 
There's two. Another two hits on Cat. No, I think that was the primary. Right. Oh. So he should have doubled. Is it turret then primary or primary then turret? Uh, no, it's primary then turret, I believe it is. Okay. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Bummer. So that's the primary. There's another hit on Cath. Cath is now shieldless. Yeah. And this is our ion cannon. See? Oh, well. That was the M9G8 reroll. Got two. Cath takes that now. first ion token. It's only one, so Cath doesn't have to worry about it right now. But, you know, if you fly Cath poorly here, um, a second ion token at the right time could really end the game for you. Put you too close to the edge, yeah. um, put you onto a rock. Uh, whatever else. I would try to turn my focus now to the other ships. Um. Yeah, because the thing we're going to see right now is <coughs> that path is going to bomb. Going to bump something. Well, he's going to try to drop a bomb. You oh, remember, bomb, sorry. He's yeah. definitely got that bomblet generator, yeah. so he's going to cut down <coughs> that turn away unless he wants to try to pull Wampa into the fight. Yeah. And nope. I don't know if you need to, to there's no honest, reason yeah. there's no reason not to bomb that area because it's bomb with generators so again yeah. you can do that as much as possible um, Wampa swings around down south and soon tier is in a weird position yeah because so why so we can't really turn them around that easily no right like it's we're gonna see an in but the only place soon tier can go is forward into the space where Kath is or where the y wings are Right? Yeah, because I, I mean, with number four, I'd be tempted to just one four or one bank yeah, down. I would, I would number four, uh, with number four, just one bank for, or one straight forward even. Um, although, again, you've got, well, you've got to clear your stress. You yeah. don't, you don't have to, I guess, but you might as well. Might as well. Um, you just one forward, you're fine. You've blocked an avenue for soon tier, and then next turn you can turn around. Uh, in the meantime, I would bring Tarn. One bank turn. I think I would too. And yeah. then I'd be tempted to one forward. One forward with Hobby. Hobby, Hobby stays, bumps into turn, sure, whatever. Um, but. Uh, it sets up a nice box for yourself because Kath probably is going to bump. Kath's going to bump. Eat bombs. And, then, and then Soontir's going to end up a bad spot. in a, in a like it, um, box here. In a non important spot, right? Like yeah. Soontir, unless he bugs out right here, is in a lot of risk. Um, and he may not want to bomb and try to bug out and just push Soontir straight up behind Kath. And do, do just like the three bank? Yeah, just try to get out of there. Four <sighs> forward. Well, our clock says 52, but apparently that's wrong. We are on a different... <laughs> no, ours is right. We are on the like the stream tables. Oh, just because they timer. take a little bit Everyone more time. Everyone else yeah. is on Yeah, fair enough. That. <laughs> Um, okay, so here, what are we doing with these Y wings? Uh, looks like this guy's doing. Is that a one straight? Yep. So our Ion Y wing just chooses to bump into Kath. Not a bad idea. Not a bad idea at all. Kath is probably going to try and go south here, but Kath is lower PS than our X wings. Or sorry, higher PS than our X wings, so moves afterwards. Um, there's the one straight. 18. Players in the tourney. <coughs> one forward. Yeah. Right? Uh, yeah. So Kath Doesn't can't bump. bank anywhere. Kath is going to hit that rock if he goes forward. Uh, so I'm assuming Kath is going to try and bank here or something. Or like a four forward? Does the fire spray have a four forward? It does, right? Yeah. You could. Could he make it? I, you you know, could I maybe make it. That's exactly what we're thinking. Yeah, there's um, the one bank. It's just going to create a lot of um, muck yeah. for the Imperials. You know, you're just setting up basically a scrum in the center and then one forward for Tarn or for Hobby that is I mean the big thing that I see right now is let's say even you do dial in right now a bump on soon tier he, he, there's no arcs like so even if he takes a soon tier and just d drives it into something if soon tier just goes forward the only thing he can shoot is that mm -hmm. y-wing it's like oh no he's shooting the y-wing whatever right. um, <laughs> That's the thing about uh, a rebel list like this. There is no priority target, right? Right. Um, they're all annoying in some way. MNG, it's annoying. I guess Hobby is probably the one I would be least worried about. The other ones are more annoying. I think so, too. Despite being the higher point one, I think I would let Hobby 
be Let Hobby live. Yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Every once in a while, he gets a free target lock. Ooh. All right. It's a neat build, um, but it's not super threatening. Um. Yep, and um, that cat's going to deal some solid damage. With what? Well, he'll bump and shoot into, I'd oh, assume, yeah. range one into Tarn. So here's the question. What did he do? That is a turn of some Pretty sort. Hard. Bump. Why would you bump? He's not gonna move. I'm so confused. Was he expecting to bump? Actually, he might fit in there and land on the rock. I think. Hmm. I'd ask him to pick it up and start. Oh yeah, trying you, it you definitely. Sure. He doesn't fit between those, but he might fit at an angle, uh, bumping into soon tier. At this point, I would just grab an extra large base if I had one and, like... Same. Yeah, just pull a clear. No, that, there we go. That's Somebody's what they're doing. Yeah, that's what they're doing. Can he fit? No. No. He, he goes nowhere. No. So, just... He doesn't move. Yep. He stays bumped into the Y-Wing he is bumped into, which is actually what you want here for Cath. This means Cath can shoot the X-Wings as he pleases. Right. Now, what's Soontir doing? Soontir's bugging out. It looks like. Is that a hard two? Oh, boy. Two bank. Um, that's well, that suddenly just... just made Hobby's target very clear on who he's shooting. Yeah. Oh, wow. You get a bumped range one Soontir shot. Yeah. Soontir tokenless? Yeah. Now is the time. <laughs> and is it whenever he gets a stress token, he automatically gets a focus? Um, it's No, when you take an action, uh, when you take an evade action, you get a free focus. Is that right? I always forget. It's been a while since I've seen Soontir played. Yeah, Soontir was sadly coming out of uh, the meta as I was starting to play, so I didn't get the chance to fly a lot of Soontir. Interceptor, Soontir fell. When you receive a stress token, you may assign a focus. Ah, yeah, there you go. So yeah, this is going to be a rough time for Soontir. Hobby just took a stress. Oh, right, because Cast Scarlet has Tactician. So. It's alive. Takes that, one. Takes one. That's a. Direct hit. Was that a direct hit? That was a direct hit. Yeah. So he's down to one and is integrated. Or did he cancel it? I would. Uh, I would cancel that. It's an odd choice not to cancel that. Oh. That was soon tier into a Y Wing, I believe, that just evaded that. <laughs> into number three? Yeah. yeah. Now it's Hobby. Hobby, who's oh. rolling four dice into soon tier, oh. spends his focus for three hits and a crit. Great. That Ouch. is. Well, his stealth device is gone. Oh, oh no. Oh, my goodness, you see a dead soon tier. That is a dead soon tier fell. <laughs> oh, no. Um. That, uh, is, that is real bad news for, for Greg. You know, that was a classic way to kill Soontir, too, though. You set up the bump, and you shoot him. Yeah, right. Like, I'm, I mean, if you catch him actionless, right? Double stress or bumps or yeah. whatever else, that's that how you kill That used to be Soontir the bump. way to kill Soontir. I'm, I'm really surprised that Greg tried that two bank. I don't know what he was expecting. Yeah, I'll just um, right. I agree. There was just too many block opportunities. I would have pulled Soontir out. Same here. I would here. have just hard to him north uh, on from our view here. Uh, and just bill rolled behind the rock and stayed safe and then swing around again. Um, but putting him right in the middle there, again, I don't know what you were expecting. You know, uh, I, <laughs> I know a couple of the ace players around and just better known ace players in general in the game mm -hmm. have said when you're flying something like Imperial Aces, if there's any chance you think you're going to be in a bad position, you run away. You run away. Do right? not, like, you're playing the long game. Yeah, with aces. for sure. Um, one of our... Uh, who is it? Um, 
Alan, Alan Fung. So the Canadian national champion. Canadian national champion who is a Toronto local, uh, plays in the prototype Toronto League with a whole bunch of us. He is one of the best ace players I've seen, uh, ever played against, I guess. Um, and and, down. and he's incredibly good uh, at, yeah. was that Wampa Shot? That was a Wampa Shot. Yeah, there you go. Um, so Alan Fung is incredibly good at, with his aces, uh, swinging them in and out of the battle. Right, uh, getting yeah. close, turning out when you expect them to go forward and dive in. Yeah, uh, it's fantastic with uh, the Inquisitor. Yeah, yeah, ships like the Inquisitor, interceptors, um, defenders, etc. He's really good at like, uh, you know, having them take one shot and then peel out and swing around while you're too busy fo focusing on someone else, and then uh, getting them in and out of the battle. That's really how you have to handle aces like that. Yep. So, so diving Suntir in was a huge mistake. Yeah, um, he should have. Gone hard in a way. Yeah, just left. Just, just left, because uh, you can boost barrel roll, get out of the way. Uh, yeah, because he may have been able to get out of the arc of number four, or he just token up. So who's this? This is ha Tarn shooting into Wampa. I think Wampa. No, it's a four dice, so it must have been calf. Oh wow! So he laid good damage into that. Too. Yeah. Uh, Greg's dice have not been fantastic. Blinded pilot. And oh man. <laughs> Find a pilot, and I didn't see the other one. Damage, damaged engine? Damaged engine. Damaged, damaged cockpit. Ah, uh, damaged cockpit, so uh, that's PS0. Oh, no. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> well, actually, you know what? Actually, he, he goes hard right now. If he just does a fast, hard, like a fast straight maneuver, that'll put him beyond, and he's got a rear arc. Yeah, you know what? PS0 is actually kind of good for Kath here. It means Kath can no longer be blocked. Right. Um, although, he's at one health, and... <laughs> uh, <laughs> And he's got a big rock in front of him, so all he can do is go forward here. What do you mean, Mike? Everything's fine. <laughs> Everything's fine. <laughs> Everything's fine. I don't think I don't think Greg is going to win this game. Uh, to be honest, losing Suntier like that is just a huge, um, huge loss. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing about fire sprays. They're good. They take up. A, uh, they're not good. That is, they're, they're they're okay. They take up a lot of points though, um, which means and and they're very like. They're very hard to maneuver. Yep. Um, yeah. Um, which a fire spray with no engine upgrade is. I find tough. even with engine upgrade, they're hard to do because you, you're tempted um, to boost to get that range one in arc, but then you're in like the wrong. I'm place. not sure. Uh, yeah, it looks like uh, echoes that they are. Uh, you can get these sleeves somewhere. I don't know exactly. Ultimate guard. Apparently, Ultimate Guard makes them. Um, so uh, those are slick, though. I might yeah, have to go slick. get some. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what do we think is going on here? Kath moves first, uh, which actually means Kath is really limited, though. You, the rocks in the way. Wow. I don't. I think the only thing you can do is like maybe three bank towards the. Edge yes. of the map? Yeah, that might put you off. Because let's see, I don't think they can no, one hard. They so that'll put take you them off. to here ish, right? Yeah. A two hard? It depends on with our. I think, layup, you would have room, I think you would have room for the two hard afterwards. Yep. Risky. But, but I think but, at this point you have to. I mean, uh, Kath goes first. Uh, they, they almost you forgot. could maybe three hard into there since you're moving first. Yeah. He just decides to go straight. Oh, um, doesn't goes hit first. the rock. No, it does not hit the rock. Uh, actually, that's a pretty good position for him. Yeah, good on him. Drop that's him the nice. bomb. Now, what I would have, what I would do with the Y wing is a. Hmm. This is the thing about Y wings is they're so hard to maneuver as well. Um, it's probably going to be a hard two from that Y wing, uh, the Ion Y wing. Mm -hmm. So he ends up where the four is now. Yeah. Uh, which is not a great spot to be. Um, although it means you can you can one bank the next turn and be ready to ion Kath again. <coughs> uh, oh, that's going to eat that bomb. Yep, just a one forward. Interesting. I would not have done that. Nope. In a fixed arc ship, not. Nope. If you I had your turret, sure. I'm trying to figure out what was the point of... Maybe he forgot that um, Kath was moving first. Oh, he was just going for the bump. Certainly, yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's possible. Um, but I would have hard-toed, yeah, with both of them. 
Yes, why right? not? Because then you're in a position to shoot Kath again the next turn. Yeah. Right? Yep. This Y-Wing is going to take that bomb. Uh, he's at full health, though, so that's not a huge issue. There's that, too, right? Like, he is taking up space. Um, but, like, you're not blocking anything. You're just in a bad position now. Turn is K-turning? Oh, I don't think that's going to fit. You know, he just went straight, or did he K-turn? I think it's the K, but I don't think he fits. He bumps. Yeah. That is bump. <clears throat> Got a little greedy there. Yep. I would have been doing one forward to victory. Was that supposed to be a K-turn? Yeah, yes. I think so. Yeah, he took a stress. So what that does is let Wampa K-turn behind you if he wanted to. Yeah. It looks like Wampa is just banking. I just going to get a shot on that Y-Wing. Uh, one of the Y-Wings. Yep. His choice. would consider trying to finish off it's one face down if he gets that crit right eh. yes i would just i, I would just do the yeah lay into the the nearby y-wing although i'm worried about wampa taking a it's from that bomb i think he might oh did they accidentally move time yeah uh, i think they're good they definitely did yeah so you barrel roll but now you don't have a shot at uh, you know what? I would take the one damage. From, oh, wait, no. It's a bomb light. It could be two, and it could be a crit, even. Because it's Honestly, I think I still would have risked it um, to just try to get back up on your ships being a little closer. Yeah. Um, you're at a point right now where you, you're going to have to bomb try to generator catch up. goes off. That's one crit on our Y-Wing. He loses a shield. So the thing is now is that is going to set up a really nice two bank for Wampa. Because that'll just come in like that. No, they don't. No, no. no. You just take whatever damage you roll. Get some crits. Uh, that why we managed to be out of arc of calf? Yep. Well, so you shoot the ion one. Who really should not be? The ion one should be behind that rock just below the stress one. What a weird choice. Sorry? No, uh, yes, yeah. Oh, yeah, he should have shot first. Or Kath should be shooting last. Kath can't, well, the only one that's going to be shot, Wampa will shoot first. Yeah, I don't think it matters so much this round, but something to remember. Um, Wampa should be shooting before Kath. Oh, he's blinded anyway. Oh, Kath's yeah, yeah, not yeah. shooting. Yeah. These guys got to remember their uh, remember their crits. That's why you have those crit tokens, <laughs> and it looks like they're even using them. They're just following a log on the base. <laughs> it's easy It's easy to forget. Um, okay. Steven's just going to head out for a second, so I need to uh, entertain you guys by myself. Uh, so, uh, just as a reminder for those of you just turning in, uh, this is the uh, 401 Games Original Trilogy X-Wing Tournament. Uh, we've got 18 players here today, and all of them are running both an Imperial list and a Rebel list. And the rules being that uh, you can use whatever upgrade you want. Uh, the only upgrade that is banned is Twin Laser Turret. We just didn't want uh, TLTs being, you know, dominating the meta here. Um, so you can use whatever upgrade you want. Uh, you can use whatever pilots you want. The only key is that the ships themselves have to be ones that existed in the original trilogies. Now, not the special edition. You can't use the YT-2400, which only showed up in the special edition. Um, uh, for all of a second, uh, but you can use any ship that showed up in the original trilogy, any pilot for those ships. So um, uh, in our previous match, in our round one, we had a Ray in the Millennium Falcon, for, uh, for example, totally legal according to the rules of this tournament. Um, so that being said, though, you can only use ships like the A-Wing, B-Wing, X-Wing, Y-Wing, the Millennium Falcon, uh, the Imperial Fire Spray, TIE Fighters, TIE Bombers, TIE Advance, TIE Interceptors. 
Uh, and I think that's about it. Um, all those ships that are there in the original trilogy. Oh, and the Lambda shuttle. Can't forget the Lambda shuttle. Uh, so that's what we have going on here. Uh, and uh, we have some excellent prizes today as well. We have some uh, custom acrylics, so like acrylic bomb tokens, acrylic ship markers, things like that, uh, by a uh, company called Curled Paw Creatives. Uh, we've also got some ships that have been painted by uh, some local players, Kelvin Lau and Eric Zhang. Uh, we've got an A-Wing and a Thai Interceptor, which just look fantastic. Uh, and we have a set of the 2017 Regionals dice uh, for our first place winner. Uh, so that's a really fun prize. Uh, yeah. So, Kath Scarlet doing a one bank, trying to avoid uh, that, um, trying to, you know, just get, get away and turn around here. Now, but th this is where uh, I feel like Ryan made a huge mistake. Because if Ryan had t hard tooed with his ion cannon, uh, Y-Wing last turn, he would have a perfect ion shot on Kath this turn, which means next turn, Kath would be facing the, uh, do a one straight, either be off the board or right next to the board edge, and then after that, off the board. Although, that being said, Kath only has one health left, so maybe it doesn't matter. Uh, Kath's probably going to die this turn anyways, just from the shots from our stress bot Y-Wing. So Tarn and the Ion Y-Wing are just uh, taking their sweet time, tur turning around. These two ships lack any repositioning, so they just have to take their sweet time. Meanwhile, Wampa is running around in circles here. Where's Wampa going? I guess Wampa can barrel roll for another shot at the Y-Wing here. So Steven's back, Hello. Uh, and uh, see I was just saying that Nice barrel roll by Wampa. Yeah, uh, so Wampa's uh, got our Y-Wing in his sights. It's re a real shame uh, the Y-Wing isn't facing the other way, but that being said, the Y-Wing only has one more health, so Ion or not, he would die here uh, All right. if he got hit. Uh, so it looks like he's going to die. Um, Wampa's going to be hard to track down for these two, I feel like. He's PS4. He actually moves later than both that X-Wing and that Y-Wing. Uh, Y-Wings don't have their turrets available because they're using BTL, so... The question is just, will, they ever, will Wampa ever be able to put through enough damage? Yeah, right. <laughs> but Kath is, Kath is going to die here. If Soontir were still alive, this would be a very different game. Um... And, yeah, oh man. Oh yeah, Soontir, honestly, against this list, if you were really good with Soontir and played him really conservatively, yeah, you keep Soontir could potentially three. solo the list. Like, getting yeah. damage in on Soontir would be very difficult. Very difficult. Uh, so that's... Oh, Kath survives the primary shot from our Y-Wing, but now Ooh. here comes the dorsal turret shot. Which itself is still only two dice. Right? Because it's only three yeah. at range one. Oh no, just one hit. Hoping for blanks on Kath's defense roll. There oh, it is. And Kath's dead. Kath is dead. Really lucky shot by uh, our uh, dorsal turret Y Wing. Who, you know, did his job. Yeah. Uh, and now it's three ships against a. TIE Fighter, who out PS is the whole <laughs> list. That's I mean, great at PS4. <laughs> PS4, you've got a barrel roll. You could I don't potentially... Think you'll... I don't think you're going to win. No. I don't think it's impossible to win. I don't think it's likely. <laughs> but it's not impossible uh, to really cause some damage with this. Although, that. although I just remembered, uh, M9G8. So if I were Tar or if I were Ryan, very next turn I target lock Wampa yeah, so and M9G8, he's not going to do any damage for the rest of the game. Now the thing is, is if he plays, so I would just K turn this Y wing. Yeah. That has an ion cannon. Yep. Which could cause all kinds of problems for Wampa. Yep, for sure. 
<laughs> yeah, kids are in the Y wing. Wampa ends up in your arc. Uh, yeah. Wampa could hard one, but then he land sure on could. the rock, or the rock, I think. Mm, I think a one hard would fit. A hard one and try to chase, uh, try to chase Y wing number four here, the dorsal turret. Yep. So hard one barrel roll. You would have a shot at uh, this Y wing. Yep. That's what I would. I mean, that would be the ideal situation. I think that's what I would do. Um, so that's the K turn. Definitely. Yep. yep. Yeah. Hard two in with the X wing. Yeah. Because you really do not want to take that Y wing shot. Hard two with the X wing. Yeah. And then. This is uphill. Like Wampa's kind of boxed in by yeah. rocks at the moment. <clears throat> the um, only thing Wampa can do is hope for MOV, hope to try and kill that Y wing. Oh, oh just, just one bank. I guess he was expecting Wampa to be farther up. Uh, gotcha. Well, it's, what it is is that if he takes a hard two right here, yeah. it'd be bad. Now, if he hard ones, he could have a really nice shot. But then he's taking that ion shot. So which yes. way is he going here? Come on, Wampa. Wow. Hard two. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Tarn's full health, so... Tarn's full health is going to have a four dice focus target lock. Nope, just a focus shot. Target lock is still on the Y-Wing. Um, These are going to evade. I think I would have taken a focus and just... Mm, what do you hope for? Right? Push damage. <laughs> like, yeah, it, it's Well, not. hit crit. There's that crit, but... Do you decide now to push one damage through? No. You let Tarn roll for it. Oh, no. Yes, no, he just evades. <laughs> oh, he canceled the... Uh, so he did use Wampa's ability. Yep. Do you do that before or after you roll? Should have done it before he rolled. Sorry? Let's double check that. When attacking, you may cancel all dice. Oh, it's during your mod, right? So you roll, they roll, then you decide. Uh, oh, yeah, okay. Loose stabilizer on somebody? Who is that on? Wampa? Ooh, Wampa takes a loose stabilizer. Just one crit. Okay. But now Wampa's going to die to two shots from... Uh, yeah, it's also not great that... The X Wing or the uh, TIE Fighter dial has a lot of white. Mm -hmm. like, that's so that's two hits. That's one damage on Wampa. That was just the primaries. And now it's the Ion, which is three dice and does one damage. So this could be the end of Wampa. Ouch. Two hits, we get our M9G8 nice reroll. Oh. The modifier, that's great. Yeah. He needs three natural that's evades it. here. There it is, game over. And that's game. Yeah, that is game. Wampa goes down to an ion cannon.